Hi, you're face to face with Shell. I hope you're doing okay out there. I'm going to continue with the series of camouflage makeup. When I was first born, I was 13 years old, away back in 1984, so there was, was, sorry, no internet whatsoever. So anything I had to learn was from books or makeup professionals. The professionals I, I came into contact with was, um, my, probably my first one was while I was still at school and it was in a, a department store in my next local town and that didn't really go too well. Um, the woman basically completely ignored me um, while she'd done my other two friends' makeup. I have spoke about it before and I'll put a link in the description so you can um, see that story. The other professional I, I had was someone from the Red Cross and the woman was absolutely fantastic with me. She really, really was. But the makeup was just far too thick and it had to be pressed into my skin, which, which is fine because I know a lot of makeups have to be applied that way, but it was just far too thick. There was no blending and... It was just the wrong colour. It was far too yellow for my skin. That led to my other problem. I, Because my face was very red, and the scars were very red, I thought that what I had to do was make it look as, my face look as white as possible so that none of the redness showed through, which again, massive failure, because all it was doing again was drawing attention to my scars and drawing attention to my face because it was so white. I mean, I, I wasn't even using blusher or anything because in my mind, I was like, well, wh why do I want to make it, it look redder? Because it, it's red to begin with and I, I don't want to make it look red. I know, it was just, I was young, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and as I said, there, there wasn't the internet where we, we can go on and get a vast amount of information. So I made loads of mistakes and it did take me years to find my perfect foundation. If you can, if you head over to my website, I'll give you photographs of how I got it so wrong. <laughs> and I'm telling you this because I want to try and help you to not make the same mistakes that I did. And again, there's lots more help and information out there now. There was hardly any way back when, when I was born. So it was just really a lot of trial and error. So I'm just doing these videos in the hope to help you, as I said, to not make the, the same mistakes that, that I did. So although I now have found a foundation that I absolutely love, um, and as I've spoke about before, I, I don't wear my full face now. And it did take me, me years to not wear my full face. Um, and that for you might, might come or it might never come. It, you know, who cares? It doesn't matter. If you're wanting to, to make your scars look better, cover them up, absolutely fantastic. But I did see an advert on social media and it was raving about this foundation. So in the next video, I'm going to do a review of the, the foundation. As I said, I have found my perfect one, but... I'm willing to try anything that, that comes up because you never know, there might be a, a more perfect one for me. Our skin changes all the time. So you just never know. You might find a, a, another perfect one for you or you might have a few perfect ones depending on what look you, you're wanting. So anyway, that's coming up next. I want to give a massive shout out to my new subscribers. Thank you so, so much. This is so appreciated. And if you haven't, if you haven't already, it would be great if you could subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps it get out there. Don't forget to hit that notification bell if you are subscribing so that you don't miss out on any videos. It would also be great if you could give me a like and a share. Trying to get this out to as many people who need it as possible. To let them know they're not going through it alone. Remember I have a website and I'll put links in the description to this video to let you head over to certain pages and you can have a browse about there. There's lots more help, photographs and information. Thanks so much for watching. 
Stay safe, stay strong, and we'll chat soon. Bye.